Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to talk about the difference between using a shared IP address on your website uh, versus using a dedicated IP address on your website along with our VPS hosting packages. Now the same concept to this applies to our other um, hosting packages, our basic web hosting and our reseller hosting. Um, it's kind of the same reason why you would want a dedicated versus a shared IP address. Um, but for this video, I am going to be talking specifically about our VPS hosting. So right now I'm on our VPS hosting page and um, once you decide which server that you want to deploy, you're just going to click on it. Um, I would say without a doubt our most popular package is the Hero 4 Gigabyte and um, since everything's built in the cloud, you can automatically scale up to the 6 or 8 as you see needed. Um, the 2 Gigabyte server, this is good for development. It's really not that good of a server for um, if you're actually using it for production because 2 Gigabytes of RAM really doesn't go that far nowadays, especially with cPanel and web host manager, you know, they really, they recommend you have at least four gigabytes. The reason why we even offer a two gigabyte option is we wanted something that was startup friendly for those developers that are developing an app already um, strapped for cash and looking for something very unaffordable um, to get going. But so that's why I recommend our four gigabytes. So I'm just going to click it here. Now, each one of our VPS hosting packages comes with two IP addresses um, included. If you want more, you can choose that. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate now. I'm just going to use namehero.org as my domain. Click use. And you'll see when we get to the configurable options here that I can select how many IP addresses that I need. Um, let me scroll down here and I'll show you where this is. Dedicated IP. So two of them are included for free with the standard pricing of the server. If you need more, this is what the price increases by month. Um, and you can have a maximum of eight. If you need more than eight, you can get more than eight, but you have to get approval from our spam compliance team. Um, those that are out there trying to do evil stuff, if you're trying to mass email and do stuff that's spammy or illegal, um, you know, our team, we, we know how to spot that. So don't even waste your money or your time with us here at Name Hero because we'll figure you out really quick. Um, but with that said, if you need more than eight, we can give you more than eight, but you have to have a good reason. You can't just need more IP addresses. So eight is the maximum that you can have. So if you select this, it's going to increase the price of your server by um, $14 a month. So it's a little bit, a little bit less than $2 a month per IP at this point. Um, but here's why you need a dedicated or a shared IP. Here's the difference. Um, a shared IP address, this means multiple websites are using the same IP. So this means that if you have 10 websites hosted on your VPS, then maybe all of them share the same IP address. A dedicated IP means that there's only one website on that specific IP. Now each server comes with two IPs and that's for your name servers. That way you can have ns1.yourdomain.com and ns2.yourdomain.com and each one of them have a unique IP address. Um, but the biggest benefit to a dedicated IP are, are really two reasons. Um, you have the best email delivery with it and also your competition can't reverse query your IP address and figure out all the other websites that's on your server. So I know those of you that engage in affiliate marketing, you know, you probably want to have a dedicated IP address for your um, high volume landing pages. That way a comp competitor couldn't reverse query that IP and see all your other landing pages, your other domains. I, I've got a big history and affiliate marketing myself and this is actually how I found a lot of my comp competitors um, websites and I can tell what they're doing by doing this so I know firsthand how important that is for a privacy aspect um, but once you order them you can see them inside of web host manager so I'm going to go over to a server that I've already built and you can see I've got two example domains on this server, keydiets.com and namehero.org. Now you can see they're both sharing um, the same IP address. So by default, you're going to share the primary IP. So for this server, the primary IP is .94. And so every site that I add is going to share this. Unless when I'm creating the account, I tell it I want to dedicate it. So if I go to create a new account, scroll down here to select options manually, I can scroll down here and I can select dedicated IP and I can grab one of these. And once it's used, it's used. Um, so by default, you're gonna have two. One is gonna be your default shared, so you can't dedicate that one. Um, then you have that second one that you could dedicate if you want to. And of course, you can order more if you need that. Um, if you go into Web Host Manager to show IP usage, show IP address usage, you can see this here. IP address here, this is shared by two, and um, you have one spare. Um, if you want to change an IP, just type in change, change site's IP address, 
and you could select say key diets here you could click change and then you could select it right here and this would actually dedicate it um, to keydiets.com. Now notice it's going to, it says here that this is also being used by the name server. Um, so it's not 100% dedicated since we only have, we only give two um, by default. So of course, if you needed more, then do that. Now, this is big for email delivery because with a dedicated IP, um, just your domain is going to be sending the emails. So if you're a web hosting client, say maybe you're a reseller and you plan on hosting 10 websites, well, if just one of these websites forgets to update a WordPress plugin and somehow they start sending out uh, malicious emails, well, all the sites on that IP address get penalized. And I have some blog articles on um, namehero.com slash startup where I talk about the problem with email and shared web hosting. And this is why you have a problem is because when you have more than one website on an IP address, if one, just one of them does something bad when it comes to sending emails, the whole IP address gets penalized. So that's really the benefits behind a dedicated IP address. And this is why when we look at our reseller packages at Name Hero, we sell a dedicated IP address for free with the corporate reseller. That way it gives you and your customers your own IP address so you're not sharing it with the thousands of others of, um, that are on the Name Hero network. So that's the main difference is the, is the email delivery. And then, of course, if someone does a reverse IP lookup, they can get the same data because it is shared. So if someone does a reverse query on, on this um, IP address here, then they're going to see that namehero.org and key diets are both hosted um, on this same IP address. So, again, if you're a, an affiliate marketer, then this probably means um, a lot to you. Now, if you're just a, 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 web, a web developer, that probably doesn't it doesn't matter, you know, if they if they see that or if they don't. Um, you can use things to block it, such as Cloudflare, which um, act as a reverse proxy and actually hide um, the origin sites of your IP address. Cloudflare will actually mask the IP and show their IP address and show, instead of your, um, your own for your server. Um, but that's really the difference. It really all boils down to email um, emailing, and um, so it's personal preference. The majority of our customers will just select the two that come with it, use it for their private name servers, and then go about their um, their business. But those that do have, you know, some important clients that really rely on email, um, I do recommend it. And and of course, if you're not buying VPS. I recommend getting at least one dedicated IP address with our shared hosting just because um, for that email delivery aspect. But that's how, it's, how it works. Um, if you order these, if you, you can order them later on. So you already have your server and you need them. Um, you can order them inside your client interface and our team will assign those for you. If you're going to change a website's IP address, I always um, caution customers to do this at the evening hours or your off-peak hours because it might it might make a site appear to be offline for a little bit while it repropagates. So you know when you first change your name servers or do anything with DNS, you have this period called propagation. Well, if you switch a website's IP address, then you're going to have to give it a couple hours so every um, DNS server out there correlates the website with the new IP. So you don't want to do that during your peak traffic or anything like that so you don't inconvenience your visitors. Um, but that's how it works. Um, I, I recommend you know just going with the two. Then if you need more, you can add them as you see fit. Again, this price is by the month. Um, for our web hosting and our reseller hosting, the price is by the year for the IP address. So let us know if you have any questions. We'll be more than happy to answer that for you or to assign you more IP addresses. As I said, the maximum amount you can get is eight on a VPS. If you need more, then we can give you more, but you have to be using all eight, and then you have to have a reason why you need the others. And of course, you'll have to be using the eight responsibly. If we see, um, um, you know, if we see like you're abusing systems or whatever, then we're going to knock you down pretty quick because we actually monitor this very strictly at Name Hero. We do not allow spam, um, bulk email marketing, uh, or anything that violates the Can Spam um, Compliance Act. We, we monitor our network very closely looking for that specifically. So let us know if you have any questions. That's the difference between the IP addresses though. I think the majority of our customers out there watching are good with sharing one for a couple sites, sharing another with a couple sites. Uh, I think that um, really will, will meet all your needs. So let us know if you have any questions or need additional ones. But thanks a bunch for watching and using namehero.com.